Hello and welcome to my super fun, awesome Arepa Making Venezuelan Brunch event. I am so excited you are here. This is going to be so fun. I see we have a couple people watching. I would love to know. Let me know in the chat on the right side of your screen. There's a little chat box there unless you're watching full screen who you are and where you are watching from. I am literally so excited to share with you these arepas. They are so tasty. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome y bienvenidos to all of my friends. Um, a couple housekeeping things before we get started. One, I already told you about the chat feature. Please use it. Don't abuse it, but totally use it. Chat with me. I'll see them pop up on my screen. And that's where you can ask questions if you're having any issues with ingredients or cooking or baking or anything. This should take about 50 minutes, five, zero, 50 minutes. And I'm so excited about it. Okay, a couple other things. Internet. We love and we hate the internet. It is the best thing ever and the worst thing ever. Sometimes there are internet issues and we just have to wait and bear with it. And all of the testing I've done, it only has cut out once or twice and it comes right back on. And on the viewer end, it looks fine. But on my end, I'm like, oh my gosh, is it working? So if I start doing that, just be like, okay, Dan, you're going to come back in just a moment. Um, looks like I have a comment here. This is so fun. Elizabeth Yamauchi making arepas from LA. Welcome, Elizabeth. I'm so excited you're here. How fun. Okay, if you get behind in any of the process, making arepas or cutting vegetables or anything, and you need to rewind to hear something I said, you can rewind, but then you're not gonna be live with me anymore. You're gonna be late. So what I would recommend you do is just put in the chat box, be like, hey Dan, um, here's my question, and ask the question, okay? Same thing goes for pausing. If you pause, you can do that, but it, it, it will put you behind the feed. So just ask the question, and that's great. We have five viewers, and I'm thrilled for all five of you to be here. Okay, so like, um, let's get started. Let me go through the things you're gonna need, and then we're gonna start getting our hands in the dough. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need some frying pans. I have mine over on the stove. You can use one or two, it's personal preference. I'm gonna use two so I can do all my arepas at the same time. You're gonna need a mixing bowl, and you're gonna need salt. I put this here so I don't forget the salt, because I always forget the salt. Okay, you're gonna need the uh, arepa dough. I have this pan flour here. It's uh, corn flour. Some of you have some different versions and that's totally fine. Looks like we have seven viewers. Welcome new people. I'm so glad you found the link. You're gonna need your um, veggies. I have tomatoes, onion, avocado. You're gonna need your adobo seasoning, a little bit of minced garlic if you have it, if you want it. You don't have to use this, it's kind of optional. You'll need your eggs, ketchup, mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, and you need some orange juice. Oh. Cheers to all of you beautiful people. You'll need knives and the queso. You'll need the cheese. Mine's in the fridge right now. And then some measuring cups and, and all of that. So, so let's dive in. The first thing we are going to do is make our dough. So I'm going to put my salt in first so I don't forget. Salt, use like a half a teaspoon in the dough. I've got my mixing bowl right here. And um, I'm just going to sprinkle it in. I'm so sorry, but I'm not gonna measure much because I just am not so great at the whole measuring thing. So a couple pinches of salt in the arepa dough. And then we're gonna get our flour out. We're gonna do two cups of flour. Now, if you are making this for yourself and no one's gonna help you eat it, I would recommend half, doing half the amount, but there's no such thing as bad leftover arepas. So we're gonna start off with two cups of corn flour and two cups of water. And it doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna kind of add water here and there as we go. So two cups, two cups. Um, and I'll tell you, I have made arepa dough that is too wet and I've made arepa dough that's too dry. And so it's, it's like, oh, hey Dan, don't forget to put salt in the arepas. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> it's a little reminder for myself. Okay, Anthony Rivas. Hello from Venezuela. Are you making arepas for breakfast? Arepas for desayuno. Okay, I'm so glad you're here. And Mega Vols. Welcome, Mega Vols. I want to know what your first name is because you are a lawyer, loyal commenter on all of my videos. And I'm so excited that you're here. I'm glad we can be friends. So, okay, back to the arepas. Um, two cups of water. There's one cup. 
And I'm going to do another cup. And then we're going to start mixing. I hope you're ready to get a little messy because we're going to put our hands in there. Take a moment to wash your hands. And before I start mixing, we are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So I'm just going to pop that right here. 350 degrees, you want to start that now so that the oven is hot by the time we need to use it. Okay, my um, I have Lillian from or uh, Orange Juice Toast from Ithaca, New York. Welcome, Lillian. All right, okay, so let's mix the dough. We've got our water in there, we have our salt in there, and we have our dough, our, our, our flour. So let's go ahead and mix, mix, mix. And it's gonna be very soupy right as you start mixing. And then it's gonna get thicker and thicker because the it will combine with the water and the flour kind of dries it out. Now, the reason we mix this is as you squeeze the dough and you really wanna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze because there are gonna be little chunks of dry dough that you wanna pinch and squeeze so they incorporate with the moisture and um, as you mix that, my dough is already getting a little bit dry. And so that's perfect. Um, yesterday in my test, I made them a little too wet. Uh, but um, I, I'm I, so I've, I've made them too wet and I've made them too dry. And we're going to try and find the perfect arepa consistency today. Okay, Carla, Dan, espero que te queden re redondas. Welcome. Wow, 16 people watching already. Excellent. This is fun, guys. I'm glad you're in my kitchen. Thank you for coming today. Um, I'm just so thrilled to do this. Okay, we're mixing, we're mixing. I'm gonna go over to my close-up camera so you can see what this dough is looking like. So right here, you can see it's kind of like, it's a little bit like um, cookie dough. Uh, it's just nice and moist and mixed up and, um, so we're just gonna keep mixing, keep mixing. I'll go back over to the counter um, because I like that. All right, I think I had a little internet, internet glitch there and it took me out for a moment. Um, but we are just mixing our dough. And it's getting to the point where it's getting a little bit dry. I'm going to add in just like a drop of water here to keep mixing. And as soon as you feel like you have all the chunks out, you can just set that aside because we're going to put it on the stove in just a moment. We are having a little internet issue, so stay with us. I think I'm here with you, so I'm going to keep going. Um, but... Uh, Literally in my house right now, I have four devices live streaming this because I have three cameras and then a control computer. And so my Wi-Fi sometimes gets a little upset at me. My Wi-Fi, not my wife. I don't have a wife. So the consistency we want, it's a little like um, like Play-Doh and it's a little a bit like wet Play-Doh. Um, I'll show you when we're uh, making the arepa shape what we're looking for on that. Okay. Carlos, welcome. Elizabeth Joy, welcome. You see us. I'm so excited. And I think my sister's watching, but she hasn't said hello yet. Um, hello from Chile. Wow. We have an international crowd here, people. Um, I am in Philadelphia in my beautiful kitchen. I love this kitchen. And um, okay, so uh, my hand is all messy. I'm going to scrape the dough off. And then I'm going to, um, then I'm going to wash my hands so they're clean before I uh, start making the ad for shape. Stephanie Dupra, good morning. I can see you. Good morning. And Rachel Hermano, good morning from Kentucky. Watching you, but too lazy to cook. Those are my sisters, everyone. They are fabulous. Uh, welcome, sisters. Glad to have you here. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And then we're going to preheat our pans and make some of this bad. Okay, so we have people from LA, people from Texas and Kentucky and Venezuela and Chile. I'm loving this. Anyone from Canada? I think I have a friend from Canada joining as well. Okay, so with clean hands, you wanna start with this with clean hands. I'm gonna preheat my pan over here. 
Um, and we're gonna set it to medium heat, just regular old medium, not medium high or medium low, just regular old medium. And um, what a trick I like to do is, um, is turn the water on just ever so slightly so I can wet my hands because it will help your hands from not sticking. And one other thing I wanna mention, if you have pans that things tend to stick in, you might wanna put just a dash of olive oil or something in the pan. I'm literally gonna just watch this. Just a little drizzle so that my arepas are not gonna stick too much. Um, usually I don't do that, but sometimes they stick and that really helps it just, they just slide around in the pan just beautifully. Okay, so we're gonna make our arepas. Oh, I turned my water off. Subconsciously, um, we're gonna take just these, lit, like a ball, maybe like a quarter cup or a third of a cup. Um, let me show you on the close-up camera what this looks like. And uh, so you can see what we're working with here. This is about the size dough you want. And I have yeah, medium size hands, it's not big, not big, not small. But, but um, um, this, this is the size, size ball we're going, going for. And, and I'm, I'm just going to flip them back and forth between my hands. I'm going to flip them back and forth between my hands. My dough is pretty dry, so it's not too sticky in my hands. But I'm going to wet them so that they, the dough doesn't stick. I like doing this with wet hands, but it makes it messier because then the drops go everywhere. So I'm going to wet both hands. And then the technique here that I learned from the true Venezuelans is to go back and forth between your hands and you slowly just flatten that dough ball out. Again, wet hands help. Flatten that dough ball out so that it makes a nice circle. And it's key to use your um, kind of like the below your thumb um, because you want these to be even all the way around. You don't want them thicker on the edge or thicker in the middle. We're just gonna go back and forth. And you really wanna make sure the air bubbles get smushed out so you're not seeing air bubbles in there. Um, not the end of the world if you get a couple air bubbles. But look, I have a perfect little arepa here and I'm about to lay it in the pan. So let's go over to the stove here. Here we are at the stove. Oh, and my oven is preheated. I just heard it. I just heard it. So I'm gonna lay that right in there. Beautiful, there's a little sizzle. I'm gonna turn my heat down just to the mid level. And uh, we have our first arepa in here and it's looking so good. Okay, let's go back and get more dough. Now, my friends, what, what, what I need from you, you is for you to just keep making these arepas. Okay, we're, we're just, just gonna, gonna keep, keep making, making them until the dough is gone. Um, I got a three camera view going on here. It's very exciting in the control booth. <laughs> um, if you have air bubbles, what I like to do is just squish the dough a little bit. Um, squish, squish, squish. Um, so that, and you're kind of like folding it so that you get those air bubbles totally out of there. Okay. Emal Maru. Hola, Dan from Toronto, Canada. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, Maru, I think. Uh, welcome from Canada. I'm so excited you're here. How fun. Um, this is excellent. So again, we've squished our air bubbles out. I'm gonna wet my hands and we're gonna do the same process over and over until our dough is gone. And this is probably gonna make about six arepas for me, okay? Again, we're just flattening them out and you don't have to do this part very long, just until they get nice and flat and fluffy and we'll go over to the stove and lay, lay it in the pan, okay? There, there we are. Oh, see, see the oil, oil it, it really just makes it. it. Slide, slide around in the pan, pan nice. it doesn't even stick. stick. It's just, just beautiful. So, so you can see they're, ah, these are perfect. I'm so excited to eat them. Let's make more. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I wanna know from you about is tell me in the chat, how is it going? Are you making these arepas or are you just watching me for fun? Um, how is the process going? Elizabeth, Stephanie, Carlos, Anthony, how how are we doing? How are the arepas coming? You know, are they? Are you making a mess? Are they ugly? Are they sloppy? Yeah, let me know how you're feeling about all this because it can be a little intimidating to do the things like this your first time. Also, what the heck is an arepa anyway? I think a lot of my um, gringo friends from the United States only know about them because of me or because of a food truck. The first time I had an arepa was in Austin, Texas. I was with my sister and we saw a food truck. It was like Venezuelan brothers food truck. And I was like, 
never heard of that. Let's try it out. And it was so delicious that I fell in love with the other. Okay, so I've got this one from that one out. Actually, um, I'm gonna lay in the stove and come right back here and we'll do another one. Boom, baby. It is just beautiful. Okay. Um, how we doing? How we doing? Okay. Looks like no new comments. I think the comments come in a little late for me. So if I'm behind, I'm responding to you. I'm so sorry. Don't forget about that orange juice. Hugo de Naranja. If I say some Spanish words, it's because I'm studying Spanish right now. I'm really trying to learn it. Um, and uh, so I'm practicing. Oh, love a little juice. We love some juice in the morning. So um, we're doing the same thing. Flatten that ball right out. Flatten, flatten, flatten. And then pop it in the pan. And I've got four arepas in this pan, and I think it is Sandra, Sandra looking great. Sandra, my friend from Instagram. I'm so thrilled that you're on, I'm so excited. How old are your kids, and are they enjoying this? Too messy to type, says Elizabeth Yamauchi. <laughs> it's too messy, I cannot put my fingers on this keyboard. You have to like wash your hands and go type. I'm sorry for forcing you to do that. Um, Okay, preheating the other pan here, and we'll get the rest of my dough into the pan. Ugh. Okay, so the cool thing about arepas is, well, the reason I have um, the Venezuelan flag on the, the marketing for this is because arepas are native to Venezuela. And um, the cool thing about these arepas, they're just the corn and the water and the salt, as you saw. You can put cheese in the dough if you want, but I'm not doing that today because I'm on a diet. Not really, I'm not on a diet, but um, I wanted this to be very simple for you guys. And I usually make it without cheese in the dough anyway, so I don't want to add another complicated layer. But when you're finished with these, what we're going to do is we're going to split them open and stuff them with our eggs, our perico. Um, and the cool thing about arepas is that you can stuff them with anything you want. You can, you can stuff them with meat, you can stuff them with vegetables, with cheese, like literally anything edible you can put in an arepa, and it's, it's perfect, you know what I mean? Uh, so you can kind of experiment with that, and like one of my favorites is called the reina pequeada, um, and that is avocado and chicken. I love that one, and it comes with like a delicious like cilantro sauce in there, and let me tell you, can't get enough of it. Okay, so I'm getting low on dough here. If you're cooking for lots of people, then um, mega voles. I'm just trying, I'm just lying on my couch like a lazy slob. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's okay. You know, it's Saturday morning. We are feeling lazy. Elizabeth Joy says it's already smells, already smells so good. I am glad, Elizabeth. Okay. They're six and eight and having fun. Hello, Sandra's kids. I think you have a pretty fun mom. She is crafty on her Instagram. She always has fun ideas and recipes. Um, so you're lucky to have that wonderful mom, kids. Okay, kids. Um, <laughs> okay, I hope you're getting messy too. I hope everyone's getting really messy. Um, getting my last little bit of dough just flattened out there and laying it in the pan, boom. And um, okay, to the Venezuelans on the live stream, how am I doing? Are these looking okay or am I totally messing up? Every time I post these on Instagram, I get people that tell me they're perfect and I get people that tell me I just forgot everything or made them wrong. So it's kind of a personal thing making arepas. Okay, so I only have a little bit of dough left and what this one is gonna be called is an arepita because it's so tiny. <laughs> okay, so this one's also kind of wet, but that's okay. Just gonna flatten that bad boy right out there and um, we'll pop it in the pan. Okay, boom baby, let me wash my hands off. Carlos, wow Dan, you do them very well. Congratulations, thank you Carlos. You are my new best friend. Um, <laughs> Excellent. We love to hear that. That is so fun. Okay. So at this point, our arepas are in the pan. 
You guys might be a little behind. You might be a little ahead. Um, no rush. Uh, just hang tight with me. I'm going to go over to the stove and we're going to check on the first pan of that egg buns. <clears throat> okay. We've got these arepas here, and they are looking delightful. We're going to flip them. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Just golden color on there. That is what we're looking for. These arepas are doing very well. I'm going to flip this one. Check that out. Oh, my goodness. You guys, truly, I'm going to – like, my mouth is watering. Okay. Flippy-dippy-doo. This one I think I put in last, so it's not quite as well done. That's okay. Boom. If you used oil, they might cook a little faster. The oil like makes them nice and greasy and delicious. Um, so perfect. These I'm not I'm not gonna flip this one, this pan over here yet because I just put them in, they're not ready. So um while these arepas are going, we're gonna head back over to the counter and do our vegetables. Okay, so we have our onion here, and I'm going to slice this one up first. Uh, we are going to dice this onion, onion nice, nice and small, finely diced. With the vegetables, you really want you really want them kind of as small as you can get them for the tomato and the onion, uh, because they're going to be in the eggs, and we'll stuff them into the arepa. So if you have chunks, they don't fit inside the arepas quite as well. Okay, so. I, this is how I like to do it. I just slice it in half and I peel off that outer layer. Um, you want to make sure you don't have any of that nasty skin stuff in there. Um, peel it off. Peel it off. Yep, there's the skin. Got to get that off. Ew, gross. Should we be flipping them? Yes. Lilian, I believe, asked that question. Lillian, you should be flipping them. Stephanie Duprat is behind. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Also, one thing, Stephanie, you're probably cooking on a um, cast iron pan. If anyone else is cooking on a cast iron pan, it might take a little longer. That pan takes time to heat up. And from, I have one, but it just takes longer. So I wanted this to go fast so I don't have to scream at you for too long today. It's your Saturday morning and you chose to be here with me. So I don't want to make it more painful than it has to be. You know what I mean? So yes, please flip them so you, you can get that nice golden color on there. And um, you can even turn the heat down if it's looking a little too golden. Um, but we want them to cook on the stove for a little while. You don't want the heat too high. Otherwise, you'll burn the outside because these are going to go in the oven for 15 minutes before um, before we eat them. So, so that's the update there. Okay. Should we be flipping them? Clap hands. Good. Looks like we're doing well here. Um, okay. Now I'm hungry. Hungry. Eh, eh, Mali Maru. Yes. Are you making arepas or what? Come on. Um, okay, so we're dicing up these onions nice and small. And I'm actually going to use the same pan that the arepas are in once I take them out. Okay, so no need to get another pan out. Um, we will have time to cook all of this while the arepas are in the oven. It will take about 15 minutes in there. And um, let's see, we're at about 25 minutes here. And it's 25 minutes well spent, in my opinion. <laughs> Dan, promise me you're going to start slather butter on those arepas. You know what, Maru? I have something to tell you. I'm on a diet. That's actually fake news. But I don't actually prefer butter on mine. But the beautiful thing about arepas is that they're personal and you can put whatever on them. What I like to put in is cheese and we're gonna make some pink sauce to put in there. So uh, when I have pink sauce, I don't find that I need butter. Perico is scrambled eggs with tomato and onion. And it's it's just the fancy word for scrambled eggs, eggs, tomato, and onion. So we are making our perico right now. I've got my onions here ready, and I already washed my tomato so that tomatoes, so they're ready to go. I'm gonna do two small ones. You can do one if you're not like a huge tomato person. Um, I'm not a huge tomato person, I'm a medium tomato person, but I have a hungry crew here working. I have a producer and I have a like an assistant stage manager. What do we call you, Elizabeth? <laughs> and she's gonna help me with my scene change in a couple minutes. Um, so I just cut off the tip of these tomatoes. We don't need that. There's good bits, you can use them. Delightful, delicious. Um, 
Also, I have a note for all of those children out there watching today. Children, listen up. When I was your age, I hated tomatoes. So if you hate tomatoes, I am here to tell you that one day you're gonna become you're gonna become a tomato person. It's possible. Um, my parents force fed me tomatoes and I hated it. But now today, I like tomatoes. I mean, I wouldn't just like nibble on them raw. I have seen people do that, but tomatoes aren't all that bad. <laughs> Okay, update, um, when your hands are clean, I wanna know how is it going? How are the arepas coming? Um, how are they looking in the pan? I'm actually gonna go over to the stove and flip that other pan. Oh yeah, nice, delicious. These are looking good. This pan is a little smaller and the burner is a little smaller so it doesn't cook quite as fast. Um, I'm gonna turn the heat up there and I'm gonna flip this, these guys again to see what's going on on the other side of these. Oh, yes, delightful. These are almost ready for the oven. I'm gonna turn the heat down even a little bit more and we're gonna give these, these like just a couple more minutes in the frying pan on low, low medium heat and then we'll pop them in the oven. Okay, back over to the counter to finish up the veggies. And I'm going to tell you right now, this whole thing is super live. It is live, live, live. Okay. So if you, um, like, if I make mistakes or whatever, there's no, like, cutting it out later. All right. <laughs> um, all right. Good. Tomato one is done. And I cut out the cores. You can cut out the cores or eat the cores, whatever. It, it's totally a personal preference on the whole core situation of the tomatoes. Some people like to take out the guts. Some people like to leave the guts in. I'm leaving the guts in and I'm taking out the cores. Um, okay. Whew. I'm getting a little sweaty in this kitchen. Things are heating up over here. Um, my stomach is growling. I've only had coffee and nuts and fruit this morning. I wanted to have a little light snack before I joined you all. Okay, supposed to be thick or flat, Liliana. Um, thick and flat. Um, I, let me let me finish this tomato, and I'll show you in the in the stove how they're looking. Um, they're maybe like a half inch thick. Um, you want them thick enough to fit a knife into because we're gonna stick a knife in them to split them open in a little while. Okay, they look so good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay, back over to the stove. Here we go. These, these are mm, come, come on, on baby. baby, come, come on, on. they are looking really great. Um, so, so you, you can, can see, see here, here, this is about how thick they are. Okay, um, I'll hold it up close. Ooh, it's hot, it's burning my fingers, burning my fingers, baby. Um, they said, if you're gonna be a YouTuber, you have to be high energy. So if I'm a little intense, I apologize. You can turn the volume down. Um, is this high energy enough for you, YouTube? <sighs> okay, Carlos Alberto. I love Perico. Me too, Carlos. Love it. So these are just finishing off there. I turned my heat up on this, this side pan. Doesn't mean they're less good. They're just on the side, okay? We are an equal opportunity arepa eater here. Um, these literally need... I'm, you know what? I think this pan is ready to go in the oven. So once your arepas are starting to look like this and they've had a little bit of time, if they've had about as much time as my arepas have had in, in the pan, 10 minutes or so, and they're firm and they're not falling apart and they're a little golden on the sides, but not too golden or burned, I messed up. Mine are like pancakes. Liliana, that is totally fine. Are they super flat? Are they like a spatula flat, like this kind of flat? Or are they... Because pancakes can be thick and poofy like this. Thick, the thick is good. So if they're thick pancakes, you're totally good. These are almost pancake size. Um, so, so I'm here for you, Liliana. If you made pancakes, we are gonna figure it out. Don't don't worry about the splitting open part until until we're there. So my oven is hot. I'm gonna pop these in. I'm turning the turning the burner on this one off and we're gonna put those in there. Dan, if there's anything you taught me in HPA, it's that you can almost never have too much energy. Yes, mega bowls. Now I know where you're coming from. Yes, gotta have energy. Okay, 
So pop in the arepas, and I don't have a fourth camera, otherwise I would show you what it looks like in the oven. I'm just sticking them right on the grate, right on the metal bars. Um, and we're gonna leave those in there for about 15 Jeez. minutes. And I'll put this pan in there in a couple minutes, okay? I'm gonna turn the heat up, because this, this burner is not keeping up over here, burner. Good. Okay, still a little, a little light colored. Um, careful, they're hot. Muy caliente. Mi amores, my friends, muy caliente in Spanish is very hot. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's go over to the counter. Oh my goodness, I need a sip of orange juice. This is just orange juice. There's nothing else in it, I promise. Okay, so. I have my avocado here. I think I'm gonna slice slice this up while I am um, waiting on those arepas there. And then we're gonna stick our veg, we're gonna put our vegetables in the frying pan in just a couple minutes, okay? <clears throat> Oriana Rodriguez, love you. You know what? I love you too. Liliana, the oven temp, um, we are working at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I don't know what that is in Celsius. So if you are, in any country other than the United States, you'll just have to Google it. I think it's like 280 or something like that, or 200, I'm not sure. 180, uh, literally I have no idea. Um, I've got my avocado here, I think it's ripe. Really hoping that it's ripe. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Yamauchi, we wouldn't hedge you if it was. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just pop my knife in there. There have been many accidents in the world when people are cutting open an avocado. So please be careful. Do not cut yourself. It is a dangerous business out there cutting up avocados. Boom, I twist it open. We've got a delightful looking avocado, delicious. And you all know the trick to get the, um, to get the core out. Boom, Just tap that knife in there and twist it and out it comes like magic. Okay, magical, magical. And we're gonna just scoop it out and I'm gonna pop it right onto a plate. How easy is that? <clears throat> okay, we're scooping the, scooping, scoopy doo. Um, scoop that bad boy right out of there. And boom, I think we're in business with this avocado, my friends. <clears throat> um, uh, how, Oh, it's 177 Celsius. So one of my guesses was almost right, 180. Thank you, Elizabeth Yamauchi, who is in the United States. Why do you know Celsius? <laughs> okay, so one trick that I like to do with avocados is um, sprinkle a little salt on them. Beep, 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 just a tiny, tiny little bit. That just helps the flavors bloom. I heard that on a cooking show. I thought I should say that on my cooking show. Help the flavors bloom. <laughs> Here on the Dan Likes to Eat cooking show. All right, I'm gonna slice my arepas in long slices like they're going on a sandwich because they're gonna go inside the arepas. So just long bits like this. And um, sorry, I don't have a close-up camera here, but uh, you'll see what they look like. Just the long, the long way. You slice them the long way. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay, give me updates on anyone who's making arepas. Are they in the oven yet? Are they in the oven? Elizabeth Yamauchi. I Googled them laughing out loud. <laughs> Love it. Okay, good. Glad for that. Elizabeth is one of my very best friends. I have two best friend Elizabeths watching today. I'm thrilled to have you guys here. We are going to just pick these avocados right up. I'm gonna use my knife, um, pop them on a plate so they are ready for the table, because we're gonna eat in a couple minutes. When the arepas are done, we're gonna eat, I can't wait. And I like to spread them out so they're easy to just like grab one off. But you can see here what the slices look like. Just beautiful little slices, and this is a nice ready avocado. We have 20 people watching, how exciting! That is the coolest thing to me. Um, 20 people are spending their Saturday mornings here, live with us on the Dan Likes to Eat cooking show. Let me go check on those arepas because I think they're ready for the oven. All right. Oh yes, they are. They are so ready. Let me show you. 
here we go. This one's a this one's a little underdone. It was in there last, but this one's perfect. So I'm gonna just put them in the oven because that's what I want to do. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Okay. And at this point in the olive oil or butter in our main frying pan because we're gonna get the onions a little um, cooked before we add the. Um, tomatoes and then we're gonna get our eggs ready and whip those bad boys up so i'm gonna grab my ingredients from over here and i'll come right back to this camera <clears throat> boom and here we are uh, you can see here this is the size of my onions they're nice and chopped up they're finely diced they're not too tiny because i'm lazy but the smaller the better um and we i think i have avocado on my face <gasps> oh whatever real life youtube okay so i'm gonna just Pop my onions right in there, I'm trying to keep them separate from my tomatoes, but sometimes, sometimes things get a little mixed up, you know? Life is messy, people. Okay. All right. So I've got my onions in there, and I've got my spatula, my handy dandy yellow spatula, and I'm going to add a little, um, a little of the adobo seasoning, just a little to these onions to have something to kind of cook in, turn my heat on, and we are in business. Okay, so garlic, garlic salt, everything is ready for us. I'm gonna add a little garlic here. This is the garlic moment. So if you like garlic, I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna add in like, is that a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon? We're not totally sure. I'm not really a measurement person. Popping that in there. Okay, and I'm gonna add maybe a quarter teaspoon of this adobo seasoning in there right away and then i'll put more in with the eggs not too much just a just a little okay stir it up stir it up baby i have onions all over my stove i kind of missed the pan for part of it i'm so sorry i hope you're doing better than i am um okay these are going to brown just a, a couple minutes and we'll put the tomatoes in let's get our eggs ready okay Hey, Dan, this is so much fun. Ricardo, my friend, Ricardo, thank you so much for joining. I'm thrilled you're here. Are you making arepas at home? Um, I hope you are. And everyone watching Ricardo is a born and bred Venezuelan, so he could tell me if I'm doing an okay job. I trust him. Okay, back over to the counter. And I'm going to get my eggs ready. Eggs in Spanish is huevos. I'm going to get my huevos ready. Okay. Um, I think I need to sift my orange juice. Maybe my apron wanted a sip of my orange juice as well. Mm. I'm gonna crack my eggs right into a bowl. Just like, this is gonna be just like you're making scrambled eggs, okay? Nothing different from that. If you get a little shell in there, just pick it right out. I think I'm good on that. I just had to check. Um, crack them, crack them, crack them like you hate them. Boom, I'm doing five eggs today because I'm hungry and I have a hungry crew backstage. Say again, what's in the onions? <clears throat> Liliana, the onions have um, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, and the adobo seasoning, this stuff um, from the ingredients list for the event. And um, it's the adobo con pimienta with pepper, um, but it's not necessary. It definitely gives it that Latin flavor um, but if you just do salt and pepper, it's totally fine. And you guys can add pepper to these as well if you like black pepper. I actually ran out of black pepper. Who runs out of black pepper? Like, doesn't that just always stay there? Like, as a kid, it was just magically always there, and now I have to buy it myself. Sometimes I still think I'm a kid. I have egg hands, so I'm going to get the egg off my hands. There's, there's nothing I hate more than egg hands, okay? Ew! Gross! Okay. So I'm gonna put a little pinch of salt into these eggs. It helps them kind of combine and start processing and getting getting flavored in there. I'm just gonna take a trusty old fork. Um, I always forget how to say fork in Spanish and I'm just gonna whip them, okay? Whippy dip. This We're doing scrambled eggs, baby. Scramble them, whip them, get them smooth. You wanna combine the yolk and the white and just mm, get it good. Have you been introduced to Onoto, it helps with a little color for the perico. I have not been introduced to that. 
Um, I actually need to save that comment because I need to figure out where to get that. That sounds delicious. Um, mm -hmm. I spilled a little of my egg on a cookie, so they would call it an egg mixture. It's just eggs right now. It's not a mixture, okay? Okay. Tenedor. Tenedor. Is that, um, is that, uh, oh, what is it? The yellow thing. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. not garlic, but the yellow one with less flavor. Is that what that is? Um, I can't, it's, it's, it's not in my head right now. I, the, the name of it. I have no idea what that is in English. Um, okay. Let's go check on our onions. I think they're ready for the tomatoes. Oh yeah, baby. Look at these. They're starting to get a little browned up. And I am going to add in my tomatoes because I think we're ready for the tomatoes. Okay? Bippity boppity boo, baby. Tomatoes. You want to cook those tomatoes for a couple minutes. And then, um, then we're going to add in our eggs. Okay? Tomatoes. When I add the tomatoes, I like to sprinkle a little bit more of the adobo seasoning. Good. And uh, maybe a little salt. Good. Saludos. Que rico arepa. Maria Roa. Gracias. Thank you so much. Um, excellent. Okay. These are going right along. We still have a couple other things to make. So let's do our pink sauce. Um, at the counter, I'm going to make some pink sauce real quick. And you guys, this is one of my favorite things I've ever learned about. Pink sauce is mayo and ketchup. And you can add hot sauce if you would like. You don't have to. Um, you just take a nice scoop of mayo. It's, this is a brand new thing because I ran out the other day. Um, and then you squirt it. It's about equal parts. Equal parts ketchup and um mayo shake that ketchup we do not want that watery bit getting in here gross um ketchup and then we just stir 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 baby stir it up and um it's kind of gross looking and it doesn't always like combine right away so you really just gotta stir it's okay if it's ugly you guys we cannot forget the pink sauce these are all little reminders that I wrote for myself and my producer keeps popping up on the screen and I love it. I think it's so fun. We cannot forget the pink sauce. Um, I always, I always forget the pink sauce when I'm like doing my practice, but I never forget the pink sauce when I'm just making them for myself because I love pink sauce. And that's what it's called. Salsa Rosada, pink sauce. It is literally just pink sauce. Okay. Um, so I'll show you on the close-up camera what this is looking like. Still a little chunky, but I don't really care. Check that out. There's my pink sauce. Um, you can do more um, ketchup if you would like, or less ketchup. It's, it's totally personal preference. Um, if you're more of a ketchup person, I like ketchup with my ketchup. So I love ketchup. So I might add a little bit more in there. But if you're less of a ketchup person, don't put as much in. You guys, it's personal, okay? Make them how you want them. Oh my goodness. Okay, arepas are in the oven. They're going well. Everything's good. I'm going to go back over to the counter and I'm going to get my perico. I'm going to get my eggs, okay? Back over here to the counter. I'm going to set my pink sauce aside. I've got my eggs. I've got my spatula. We're almost ready to put them in. Actually, we are ready to put them in. Let's come back over here to the stove and I'll show you. Let's put them in. I'm going to turn my heat down so they don't just burn up. We don't like burnt eggs. Okay. So I'm turning my heat down to kind of low, medium low, um, so that it doesn't singe my eggs and uh, popping them in there. Okay. I am running maybe two or three minutes behind what I said the length of this program was going to be because um, I think I've been talking too much and I, and I forgot that responding to the comments adds a little time. So um, here we are with the 
Perico, it's looking delicious. And let me tell you, you can put other things in here. If you have spinach and you want to put spinach in there, you can do that. Um, but it's personal preference. It's really whatever you want to do. I'm going to put in my last bit of adobo, another good sprinkle. I think we're doing a total of about, I don't know, maybe like a, a teaspoon of this. And um, I hope you use the adobo like more often in your life if this is a new thing for you because it is tasty okay um so while these are cooking on low heat i am going to get my queso fresco out of the refrigerator okay. queso fresco my friendzos these are this is a delicious cheese mine came wrapped in a banana leaf how cute is that and what I'm going to do is just flip it out of my cutting board and I'm going to slice it. You want them in long slices so you can tuck them into the arepas, okay? Where's my knife? Everything's fine. Here it is. Um, and uh, so we're just going to slice it in long slices, just whatever way you want. It's a circle. If you've got a different kind of cheese, I put on my ingredient list, you can do queso de freir or a um, couple other kinds. Honestly, to be quite frank, to be totally honest, it doesn't matter what kind of cheese you use. This is like authentic cheese, but you can use mozzarella. Quiero probar tus arepas. Maria, I want to give you these arepas. Hola, Dan. El perico es muy rico con queso y picante. I don't like them spicy. No picante for me. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Um, oh, yes. I haven't caught up on comments. Wow, looking good. Delicious, Dan. That doesn't say Dan. <laughs> um, okay, we're slicing these and I don't wanna let my eggs burn. They're very, um, very sensitive to heat. Okay, people, very sensitive. Um, just slicing this right up and I'll pop it on a plate so that we are ready to set the table. Guys, if you have anyone else with you, I would recommend they start setting the table because I'm gonna be ready to go to the table in like two minutes, three minutes maybe, we'll see. Um, so there's my cheese. I'm gonna set it aside so I can put it on the table later. And I'll go back over to the stove and check on the perico. How we doing over here, little eggies? I'm starting to cook. I like that. Um, our arepas have been in the oven for maybe 15 minutes or so at this point, and they are about ready to come out. So um they're very hot when they first come out so what i'm going to do is take those first four out right now so they can cool off for a couple minutes okay whoops drop my drop my rag um so arepas are coming out oh my goodness i am gonna drool all over these Woo, baby! let me show you what they look like first of all they're hot so my fingers are burning for you youtube ow mm, delicious Delicious, fergalicious, you might say. Um, so these are perfect. They are gonna be a delicious little brunch. I cannot wait to eat them. Um, how are my eggs doing? They're doing well. I think th that I've accomplished everything on the list so far. We have the avocado, we have the queso, we have the pink sauce. Um, these eggs just need another minute or so. Francesca, Francesca, hey guys, wow. Thank you. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, Carlos, where are the, where's the butter? Okay. All the Venezuelans are asking for the butter. So I'm going to put some on the table. <laughs> Let's go back over to the counter for a moment. Okay. My arepas are ready for the table and my avocado is ready for the table. And um, I'm going to get the butter out now. Okay. Cause that's part of my plan. Butter, schmutter. Um, here we go. I'll put a little butter in the eggs. That sounds delicious, right? A little butter never hurt no one, unless you're dairy free, then it does. <laughs> um, yeah, a little butter in there. Good. Just mm, mix it in. We've got butter for the arepas as well to put inside the arepas. So I'm going to put that on the table. Okay. Um, guys, these eggs are looking just perfect. You can decide if you want them wetter or drier. Um, growing up, it was always a discussion in our house. My dad likes wet eggs and my mom liked drier eggs. So it was always a battle. So I like my medium wet, medium dry. 
Hola, tengo 10 años, soy venezolano. Gabriela, you are 10 years old and you're from Venezuela. Welcome, bienvenidos a mi cocina. Welcome to my kitchen, going back over to the counter. Okay, okay. Butter for the table, we're good there. You guys, my kitchen is a mess. I hope yours is a mess too, because it's, it's just so fun. Okay, back to the stove. These eggs are basically done. <clears throat> How delightful. Okay, so you should be getting your table set right now. You should have your juice and your queso fresco and your avocado and your arepas getting to be set on your table. Um, these eggs, I'm gonna turn the heat up for one minute and then we are in business. We're good to go. Um, let me know in the comments, how are we doing? How is everyone doing with the eggs, with the uh, with the arepas? How did they come out of the oven? Do they look good? Are they too thin? Are they too thick? Again, quarter, uh, more than a quarter inch, probably about a half inch thick is a good, it's a good, um, good thickness. Oops, why am I putting eggs on a plate? I have no idea. Um, okay, wow. These look good. I love eggs, okay? I love eggs. So turn my heat off. I'm gonna come over to the counter and I'm gonna put these in a bowl. Boom, baby. Put these in a bowl so that they look cute on the table for brunch, okay? Boom, 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 baby. And um, at this point, I am about to do a scene change over to my table so I can enjoy my brunch and I'm gonna show you how to split them open and fill them, okay? So it's gonna take me exactly 43 seconds to get switched over to the table. And I'm gonna show you a little video of what, like some scenery from Venezuela, which is where the arepa is from. So I'm gonna show you this video and um, I will see you at the table in 43 seconds. Venezuela is located on the north coast of South America between Colombia and Brazil. While I'm transitioning over to the table so we can stuff our faces with these delightful arepas, I wanted to show you some cool scenery from Venezuela and share a few interesting facts. Venezuela has over 1,700 miles of Caribbean coastline. That's more coastline than any other Caribbean country. The capital of the country is Caracas. The population there is about 5 million people. Venezuela is also home to the world's tallest waterfall. Angel Falls is 3,212 feet high. That's over half a mile. In contrast with Niagara Falls, which is 167 feet tall. So Niagara could fit in Angel Falls about 19 times. Okay, we're ready to eat. <gasps> Oh, wow. That was a rush. I just rushed all of this over to my table. How delicious does this look? Oh my goodness. How are we doing? Sandra S. says, loving it. Viva mi gringo venezolano. Thank you, Maria. Yay, butter. <laughs> um, Elizabeth, Stephanie, Sandra, Gabriela, Carlos, Francesca, how are you doing? I want to know, are you ready to eat? I hope you are. Um, this is what happens. I'm going to take this arepa and um, I'm going to split it open. I'll show you right over on this close-up camera. Okay, I'm going to split it open so that we can fill it with these delicious things. Stephanie, you're still cooking. That's okay. It's totally fine. Stephanie Dubra is still cooking. We are going to split this open. I'm going to pop my knife right in the edge of here. And what we're going to do is just go right around the edges like this, okay? And um, it kind of opens up into a little pocket. You don't wanna split it all the way open. You really want it to be a little pocket. It's almost like a pita pocket, okay? Um, and if there's extra dough inside that didn't cook off, it's not gonna hurt you. It's very tasty. But if you prefer, you can kind of, you can kind of scoop it out just like this and just pop it on the side of your plate just like that. You don't need to eat it. So you see the steam coming out of there? Oh, that's how you know it's fresh. Okay, we've been on here about 54 minutes and I'm gonna show you how to build this arepa and then I will say my goodbyes. Okay, so first thing I like to do is butter, obviously. <laughs> Put a little butter in there. Apparently the verbiage I'm looking for is slather it with butter, according to Maru. 
Um, so we're putting the butter in there. See, I got my butter. It's delicious. It's nice Irish butter, um, fresh from the store. Can I put stuff on top? Um, Liliana, you can put stuff on top. And what I have been told is if you don't want to split it open, you can just lay it flat on your plate and put stuff on top. But what I have been told is that that's the Colombian way to eat arepas and splitting it open and stuffing it is the Venezuelan way. And so today I'm teaching you how to make Venezuelan arepas. Okay, so I've slathered it with butter. We're putting pink sauce and pink sauce is my favorite thing. So I put a lot in there, boom, baby. I slather kind of both sides, make it look nice and nasty inside like that. And then what I'm gonna do is take my queso fresco and pop it in there just like that. I a, a nice long slice, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so delicious. And then I'm gonna take a slice of avocado. Okay, we gotta have all the good stuff. Slice of avocado right in there like that, and um, then I'm gonna fill it with perico. Okay, don't worry, I'm not gonna eat all of this by myself. I have helpers. I have eating helpers. Okay. Aquí te estoy viendo con mi hija, se llama Samara, ella te escribo. Thank you, Gabriela, and hola, Samara. It is truly arepa time, and I'm filling these bad boys up. Sandra, how are your kids liking these arepas? I want to know what they think. I want to know if they like the pink sauce, if they hate it. Um, Elizabeth, how are you doing with yours? <clears throat> Rachel, are you upset that you didn't make these? How's the couch? Um, Mega Voles, how's your couch? I wanna know. So I have this filled, filled to the brim, so things are like falling out. Carlos, OMG, I'm hungry. Yo tambien, brother, I am hungry, okay? I am hungrissimo. That's Spanglish, that's not real Spanish. I, I even put pink sauce on top because I love pink sauce so much, okay. So at this point, you're probably like, Dan, I don't want to type another comment. I'm just trying to eat. So if you're ignoring me or if you turned it off or if you hate arepas, don't tell me about it. Um, the next step in our process is literally to take a bite. So here we go. Mm. Mm. Sandra, one is enjoying it. The other won't touch it. Come on, man. Oh, these are so good. Rachel Bueller, ugh, I wish I would have cooked. Yeah, you're sorry now, aren't you? Okay, <clears throat> so my insides are a little gooey. Is it because I used a different flour? Elizabeth, it's not because you used a different flour. It's because they might need a little more time. <laughs> Bessie face. They might need a little more time in the oven. <clears throat> gooey is okay. You can scrape out the goo or you can eat the goo. I have pink sauce on my face. Mine are just a little gooey inside too. That's kind of how I like them. If you pop them in the oven for five more minutes, you will be totally good on that. Okay. Um, I'm like, <laughs> I've lost all control. I have no idea where the cameras are. I'm just like drooling. My face is wet. I need a sip of my orange juice. Oh my word. <clears throat> okay, everyone. I hope you are obsessed with the pink sauce. Elizabeth, isn't it the most delicious thing you've ever had ever? Like I'm putting it on everything these days. Um, for my Venezuelans and for my gringos, for everyone out there, I want you to appreciate, I have a picture of Valencia, Venezuela. It's one of Venezuela's bigger cities, not the biggest. I think it's the third biggest city of Venezuela. Right behind me, um, kind of at sunset from the hills, and that's the city. It's a beautiful picture. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you want to learn more about Venezuela or appreciate the beauty of it, I have another video on my YouTube channel about Venezuela. It's my latest one. You can go check it out. <clears throat> um, and what I would like to ask you now is if you enjoyed this, I would love to ask you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's like kind of bottom right underneath this video. Subscribe and also like the video. Um, that will help me out. I am... I am trying to become a YouTuber as my grown up job. And it will help me out if you subscribe because I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by July. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. 
I really hope you did. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about these arepas. I want to know. And take a picture of yourself. Send it to me. Send it to me on Instagram or on Instagram. <laughs> um, but uh, you can find me on Instagram if you would like to send me the picture. I'm Dan Likes to Eat or Gringuito Chef. Okay. Um, one of those is in Spanish. Gringuito Chef is my Spanish account, and Dan Likes to Eat is my English account. And uh, so thank you so much for coming. This has been a truly delightful hour hanging out with you guys. Sandra's kids, I don't know your names, but I hope that whichever one of you is nervous of these, I hope you take a bite at least. And if you don't, maybe one day you will. This is what it looks like. Mmm. I think with that, I need to say goodbye. Thank you everyone for a delightful time. I'll see you later.